Hello, uh, good afternoon or good morning to my time right now. Um, I am recording this video presentation all about CNC to be used as a reference for my partner agents and for potential student applicants, right? So my name is Angelo and I am the country manager for College of New Caledonia. And I'll be presenting to you all about our school and our community in Prince George in British Columbia in Canada. We are empowering. We are the stepping stone and a leg up to something greater. We offer an essential foundation of skills and knowledge, always striving to be relevant in a changing workforce. We welcome and shape learners of all kinds. Access and support come naturally. We are connective. We are the bridge, the branches that extend between graduates and employers, we intersect ideas and action, bringing practical application to the concepts we teach. We are grounded. We remain deeply rooted in our region. We build relationships on a one-to-one -one basis and take community needs to heart. We listen to those around us and respond in a proactive way. Our sense of place gives us perspective. We are dynamic. We shift and evolve as the world changes around us. We adapt our modes of delivery, introducing new ways to learn and connect. We are a force for change, providing direction and impact from the individual to the community and beyond. We are CNC. Right, we are CNC. Uh, mind you, for the many years that I've handled CNC, we just figured out our tagline for this year is actually start here, go anywhere. And that tagline, I think it's very much uh, synonymous with what we have been doing for the past three years with CNC. Um, Gaya ng tagline na banggit, since start here, go anywhere, it is basically a practical and the best jump off point for anyone who wants to study in Canada and start your journey in the next chapter of their lives. So again, CNC is the best jump off point for their study plans going to Canada. Add to that, of course, it is still the most practical study destination, being low cost, meaning mura and high return or malaki ang investment pabalik sa kanila. Last 2021, I would like to thank all our partner accredited agents who helped us grow our number of Filipino students by up to 1,500%. And I'd like to announce in this video, dated April 2023, of course, is that the Filipinos are now number two in terms of student population in Prince George. Of course, number one would still be India. But uh, the school and the community is looking forward to recruit more students, uh, more Filipino students to study in our community and in CNC. Right. So why CNC? This is an emphasis again on our low cost identity, low cost meaning mura, our tuition cost and community living costs is 50% lower versus most destination and 50% versus major cities. Right. So sobrang mura po manirahan at mag aral sa CNC. That's why it's very much practical talaga because we all know when we study abroad, um, it is an investment, and for any investment, we want to manage the risk as much as possible. So risk-wise, very, very competitive and very, very manageable ang studying at CNC and in Prince George. Salary-wise, we have a high salary. We have the same income as Vancouver, and then, uh, British Columbia in general has the second to the highest income in Canada. So in a nutshell, gaya ng gagi ko binabanggit for many years now studying in CNC, this is the analogy for you. Sweldo Maynila Buhay Provincia. Again, that's practical, right? So hopefully that entices you to consider our school and community. Add to that, in CNC, there is lesser competition. So if there are issues of job shortage, accommodation shortage, we are far from that. Wala po kaming issue pagdating sa trabaho at matutuluyan. Lesser competition because we really filter the applicants who can study in our school, right? And add to that, even though some would perceive CNC or Prince George as a province, 
All right, we are the third best economy in British Columbia, mind you, and we are the capital of North BC. So we have a strong and growing economy, meaning that there are tons of jobs available. Right. So let's proceed directly to our community named Prince George. You can see on your screen our mascot, Mr. PG. Okay, on this screen, I'm showing you the whole map of British Columbia. Geographically, geographically speaking, Prince George is located at the heart of BC. And if you are located on the center, economically speaking, it's practical to invest there. Daanan tayo ng lahat ng economic transaction. For tourism, daanan kami for domestic tourism mainly. People from coming from the U.S., going to Alaska or even to Alberta, dadaan at dadaanan ang Prince George as a major roadway. Right? PG, as mentioned a while ago, is the biggest and capital city of North BC. North BC, kasama po namin dyan si na Coast Mountain in Northern Lights. So meaning po kami ang capital and we are at the center of British Columbia itself. Marami economic activities sa amin. And kung marami economic activities, maraming trabaho po. Alright? Second bullet point mentioned is that kung ikukumpara natin ang Vancouver sa Manila, Prince George can be compared to Baguio City in terms of aesthetic and economic potential, making it known as the third best place to live, not only the third best economy in British Columbia. In terms of weather, it's almost the same. Um, hindi siya kasing lamig, hindi siya kasing ulan. It's 1,900 hours of sunshine every year. It's just perfect for Filipinos who came from a tropical destination to relocate. Hindi po kayo mabibigla sa lamig, right? Perfect adjustment. Leisure-wise, uh, it, it has a perfect combination of outdoors and nature. Prince George is also known as the 15-minute city, meaning you can go anywhere from malls to the mountain uh, mountain hike to the lake to go fishing and go back to Team Hortons in just 15 minutes away. Perfect balance of nature and urban amenities in one. Right. I always get the question, are there Filipinos in Prince George right now? 2020, based on the data here, 2% pa lang po ang mga Pilipino. But as of now, I'm confident to say it has grown from 5 to 10% already. I'll have to verify that data and get more concrete but concrete proof. But I can guarantee you the numbers has really grown. And mostly our students from CNC. Add to that, kung hindi man sila estudyante ng CNC, um, immigrants or Filipinos coming from other provinces, like maybe Toronto or Vancouver, they would relocate to Prince George, mainly because of the principle na mas nakakatipid sila at mas practical sa kanilang magsimula ng pamilya. Again, it's because of low cost and high return. Ayan. This slide shows you how affordable our community is should you wish to buy a house of your own once you graduate or to bring your family to Canada. Buying a property in Prince George costs 50 to 60% less versus major cities. Again, practical. Tama? Okay. Right. On this slide, meanwhile, I'll be emphasizing on the top three economies in Prince George right now. And from that economy, I'd like to connect the job opportunities available. So top three economies that we have right now is forestry, healthcare and medical sciences, and tourism. For healthcare and medical sciences, given we are located on the center or the heart of BC, dito rin nilagay yung University Hospital of North BC and BC Cancer Agency Center for the North. Nagiging medical hub kami ng buong British Columbia. Which means, perfect po siya for those who wants to uh, study and work as nurses, um, maybe physical therapists, anything related to healthcare meron kami. Even dental, right? Um, we also have jobs needing for engineers, human resource, accountant, business, name it, we have it. And mind you, just a few weeks ago, I talked to one of our uh, board of governors who was a Filipino student that discussed niya that there is now a growing demand for IT professionals in our community. Right, so all kinds of job completo tayo. Hindi po may hirap pa maghanap ng trabaho ang student. I can confidently say 99%. There are jobs available in our community. Of course, 1% given na dapat ipasan nyo pa rin ang interview. Right? Okay. Another additional benefit for students who wants to study at CNC is that we provide a free bus pass. Okay? But trivia, uh, most of our students within one year of staying in Prince George they would sometimes not avail or use the bus pass anymore because they tend to buy their own cars. 
from Mr. Art Alido, the person in this slide who is the friendly Filipino guy in Prince George. Sir Art is one of the most renowned Filipinos there who has been a uh, and nakapag convert na siya uh, for PR I think last year if I'm not mistaken. So um he's been supplying usually the cars for most of our students there right now. Okay? So ayan. Um again, it shows the 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 strength of Prince George as a community kung saan ang laki ng possible income nila with lesser expense. Okay? So malaking bagay po 'yon. Again, a practical way for students to start their journey in Canada. In a nutshell, in Prince George, they earn more or you earn more and you save more. Again, Sueldong Maynila, Buhay Provincia, that is low cost and high return, and that is Prince George for you. Let me play a quick video about Prince George so you have an idea on how the community looks like. Prince George is a wonderful place to raise a family. Absolutely. Prince George is everything that you'd want in a city. Prince George is home. It's more of a home to me than I've had in the place I grew up in. When I first came out here in 2002, everybody where I worked was like, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? You got somewhere to go? You're coming to my place. I must have had six invitations. Everybody takes care of everyone here, and I find that to be a really an original trait for the places that I've lived in. I haven't found this anywhere else. There is something about Prince George that has always amazed me, and I don't know how these people do it time and time again. And they keep supporting, and so they're constantly supporting the community they live in because they believe in it too. It's been amazing. You know, like uh, we moved a 16 year old girl halfway through high school, and it's probably not the easiest thing to do when you're coming from a you know, a greater metropolitan area into a smaller a smaller city, but it's been great. And once again, the people and her friends here are as close as the friends she's ever had. I think the biggest thing has been the big sky sunsets and just how much sunshine. You know, any place where you have to wear sunglasses 12 months a year is a great place to live. You know, the, the biggest advantage or change for me in my business life is the commute time from home to my office. You know, I, I live quite rural by Prince George standards, but ultimately I'm 15 minutes door to door between my home and my office. And that used to be an hour and a half commute. So the reality is, you know, sometimes it's, it's you know, it's taking care of the property. It's, it's, it's going to my daughter's volleyball games. You know, lots of different things that I would have probably missed had I been in the city. I love the fact that commute times are a lot less than in major cities. The fact that I can leave my house at 8.15 and be at work at 8.22 is, is great. So that's, that's a great thing and allows me a lot more, a lot more free time to be outside and be active and play hockey or go, once golf season comes, go golfing and do all sorts of stuff like that. And the best part about living in Prince George is lots of outdoor activities. This, the fact that there's no rain or hardly any rain and I like the snow as well. And there is tons of sun. PG has most of the amenities that a major city will have, which is great. Spending most of my life in major cities, I like to have the ability to go out for a nice meal every once in a while and go to a mall and get, get all the things that I need. I love Prince George. I never thought I would be what people would call a small town girl, but Prince George is not small, first off. And there's so many activities that you can do that you cannot do in the big city. You cannot drive 20 minutes and go snowboarding. You can't go around the corner and go fishing. So I originally wanted to go to medical school. I applied to multiple places, including Simon Fraser University, University of Toronto, uh, University of Western Ontario. I chose the NBC because it is extremely well known in the science division. Going through your university education, you're not rich, you're not driving a nice sports car, you're not rocking the Gucci bags. So you do consider the price of the school. Prince George is a great opportunity for young adults to start their lives. Prince George is an amazing place uh, to raise a family, an amazing place to, to visit, and certainly to work. Prince George is active. Prince George is home. All right, Prince George is home. Now let's discuss briefly about CNC and all the, all the programs that we offer. Right, CNC, we are a public school given... Uh, for a public school for 50, for, uh, 50 years now, we do provide PGWP and, of course, ELI accredited po kami. All our programs we offer from certificate level, diploma, and post-diploma. Right? We are definitely, as always, affordable and provide high quality of education. Our intakes are three times a year. Take note of the definition of our intakes per month, right? Pero mapapansin niyo when I do 
communicate with you is uh, I, I mentioned the months, not the season, because we define it differently with CMC. So January, also known as spring in our system, May intake is called as intercession in our system, and lastly, September as fall, right? So we have three intakes, January, May, and September. Our tuition fee is affordable by up to 40%, as always. Tuition as low as 10,000 Canadian dollars per year. Depende sa program po, of course. Pero pinakamababa natin is 10 to 11,000 per year po. We do charge an application fee of 125 Canadian dollars upon application. We cannot waive this um, dahil po sobrang baba na ng tuition fee namin. And um, for CNC, we do require IELTS or Duolingo. Minimum requirements you, or grade requirements you can always find in our website. But just to mention, as of this day, April 2023, Duolingo grade requirement is um, 110 overall grade and 105 per category. Again, 110 uh, and 105. Okay, 110 overall and 105 per category. You can just Google the equivalent C of that in IELTS, right? Our tuition deposit is only 6,500 or 10,000 CAD, depende sa equivalent na gusto po ninyo. Take note, once you apply and you get your LOA, usually you will see there you need to pay 10,000, but that's okay kasi it's a template. You can still pay 6,500 CAD should you wish. That's equivalent to one semester. Then, ang next payment po nun is before the second semester starts na. Okay? Because some students will get confused. Why is it some schools are actually asking to get paid 2,000 lang? Pero mind you, ang punto po natin ito is 6,500 hanggang makapag-aral ka na po ng first semester. Okay? So, hindi siya yung uh, dinivide lang. So, 6,500 equivalent to one sem na yan. And next payment is after one semester. Clear? Okay. Processes, of course, um, I would encourage everyone to still work with any of our accredited agents, okay? Should you wish to know who are our accredited agents, you can always message me. I'll show later my social media accounts and my contact details. It is much better and it's better to manage your risks at the same time when you're working with an accredited agent, okay? Each agent that we have, they can charge from zero to a specific amount, depende sa service na kailangan po ninyo, all right? Okay, so the documents that you need to prepare, if you'll be submitting it to me or to the agency partners, okay? If DIY sa akin po dadaan ng application, okay? Okay, ang sasabit po natin, of course, the admissions form, a resume, we require the college transcript and diploma. For transcript, medyo strict po kami sa grade, sana po. Walang masyadong 5. Kung may 5 man, hindi lalagpas sa anim na subjects. Regardless, kahit pinasa po ulit yung course, as long as yung 5 is hindi lalagpas ng 6, okay pa po. Pag lumagpas ng 6, delikado na po. Okay? We require, of course, your passport, IELTS or Duolingo, and high school diploma in Form 137. Okay? These are, again, our requirements to be submitted. Okay? Um, in terms of process as well, we can issue the conditional letter or the letter of offer or also known as LOO in 3 days up to 2 weeks. Depende sa program, it can take longer. And depende kung kailan kayo nag-apply. But our average is right now three days up to two weeks. Same goes with the letter or issuance of the final letter of acceptance. Three days to two weeks. Now, going with our specific courses and programs, okay, you can always check our website, but admittedly, it's not that user-friendly because our website is also catered to the domestic student. So baka malito po kayo. So if you want to check the specific course and list, you can always email me at my CNC email or at Facebook uh, uh, or at my personal Facebook account. Okay? Ang ina-offer po nating programs um, under business and, and men management is uh, napakarami po. You have programs under accounting and five specializations under business management diploma. All of these programs are for two years. Our top two bestsellers will be the Post Diploma in Human Resource and Post Diploma in Tourism. Itong dalawa po ay bestseller natin because unang-una, Post Diploma level na siya. Plus, uh, it only costs ten to 11000 per year. So very affordable, but the seats are also very competitive. We also have programs under Health Sciences Program. Um, we used to have an ECE or Early Childhood, pero niririvamp po yung program, so we're not sure when we will launch it again. But for the meantime, you can always check out our dental assisting programs, dental hygiene, practical nurse, social service worker, and the kinesiology program. 
Okay, we have programs under trades as well. Auto body certificate, automotive service technician, and professional cook certificate, which runs for only 10 months. And of course, for K-12 programs, perfect po ito mga to. Kung hindi pa sure kung anong specific niche ang gustong aralin, you can always take an associate degree program for two years. We also have programs under criminology, an engineering certificate, a fine art certificate, and a web and graphic design diploma, a standalone program. Kasi ang web and graphic natin, pwede siya mag-fall under the business diploma or a standalone course. Okay? And we have new programs launched for 2023. We can now offer the business program for a one-year certificate. Okay? And we also have a new engineering program. Hindi na siya certificate lang, but we also have a civil engineering tech diploma. Okay? Um, engineering graduates can also opt to apply for heavy machines trades diploma. The good thing about heavy machines trades is this is a good high paying income once the student graduates. Okay? Take note, ang number one industry natin is forestry in, in uh, Prince George. So perfect para sa inyong course na to. We also have offer a bundled course right now for a dental assisting and business certificate program. And lastly, one of our fast moving new programs just launched uh Kaka-launch lang nito, no? pero we have tons of applicants already. The ITAN program or the Information Tech and Networking Diploma. Tuition cost for two years is only 26500 So anyone can apply, even K-12 students. And uh, going back to the requirements, ang minimum requirement pa rin po natin should they wish to study in CNC is dapat po nakatapos siya ng 12 years of education. So K-12 for new curriculum and at least second year college for old curriculum. But for post-diploma programs, we accept students who has a bachelor's degree diploma. All right, some campus facilities. I'm just going to go um, run through this. I would encourage everyone to check out my YouTube account. Meron akong compilation ng videos dyan about CNC and uh, Prince George as a community. Specific mentioned or special mentioned kay Tina Girl Travels who made a very good tour of CNC and the community during the pandemic period para mas ma-visualize on how it looks like. Okay. Let's now proceed to the how much does it cost to stay in Prince George. Um, with the growing number of students, medyo tumaas siya ng kaunti, but it is still very much affordable compared to most destinations. So we still have a few accommodations that can cost from 350 but I would say the average right now for a single applicant is 400 to 500 CAD. For family, is around 700 to 800 CAD for a family of three. Okay? Accommodation support, mayroon pong pinoprovide na accommodation team. Ang CNC, they can give you suggestions. Ang on-campus natin is fitted only for single applicants. For families, off-campus po tayo lagi. Other than the accommodations team of CNC, we have an active Filipino community that can provide accommodation suggestions. Um, and the good thing about CNC is that we do create chat groups kung saan doon kayo pwede makapag-interact sa mga students and alumni ng CNC. Right? I'll show you the community that we have para po maka-help din po sa students and of course para sa ating mga partner agents may help din sila in getting the right information and uh, to make sure na hindi nagsha-shopping yung mga student online lang. All right? Okay. Now this slide just emphasizes that we don't have any job shortages and uh, marami tayong opportunity for students and also OWPs. All right, some quick testimonials. Just going to skip that one. And student services, okay? Whatever you need, we have it in CNC as well, right? Um, should you don't have any support in terms of immigration counseling, good news, we are hiring our immigration counselors on campus. Of course, that's only for consultation. Um, I think dalawa silang papasok this coming year. So that will help you add more to your um, experiential learning and transition from study to eventually work. Um, either hopefully you stay in Prince George because 90% of our students are staying. But if not, again, you can make CNC as a jump off point wherever you want to go after. Okay? Ayan. Very important to observe po ang ating mga social media accounts. Um, because of the rise of misinformation online, I would encourage our students and partner agents to observe these pages only for legitimate information about studying at CNC. Okay? Now, 
A quick run through lang po ano. Um, I understand each applicant has their own unique reason why they choose a destination to study at. But this summary is to emphasize why CNC and Prince George is a good jump off point and community to start the next chapter of their lives in Canada. So if your reason of studying is based on location, in Prince George, our location is geographically and strategically located at the heart, making it the ideal for future investments in economic growth. Add to that, in weather natin, since nasa sentro tayo at napapaligiran ng ilan-ilang bundok, hindi siya ganun kalamig, hindi siya ganun kaulan, perfect balance pa rin po. So it's a balance of urban city opportunities and amenities and peaceful living in one. Right? Quality of education, being there for 50 years now, we are very, very uh, much into high quality of opportunities for everyone. Okay? And we are the second most affordable school in British Columbia. A perfect balance, again, between cost and opportunity. Cost of living, as mentioned, Sweldo Manila, Buhay, Provincia. So very, very affordable. Okay? Income, same goes. Pareho kami na sweldo ng Vancouver. As we all know, mataas ang sweldo sa British Columbia po. Okay? And opportunities after studying. Um, given that uh, for British Columbia, we do provide PNP. But to keep it short, since I'm not allowed to discuss anything about migration and I'm not qualified to do so. But what I can attest is that in terms of job opportunity after studying, is marami sa amin. Why is that? Admittedly, IELTS or Duolingo can be a difference maker in terms of decision for students. But hopefully, you as a student, if you're listening or watching this, you need to balance the pros and cons. So, if you study at Prince George, basically you save more, but you get a lot of job opportunities. Pero ang downfall, you need to take the IELTS or Duolingo. So, ano yung mas matimbang ba? Okay? So, you, it's up to you to decide. So, opportunities after studying is marami po tayo. Um, there's lesser competition, salary is good, opportunities are good, um, different big name companies are also in Prince George right now. Okay, so studying in CNC in a nutshell is worth every penny. It is always practical, low cost or affordable and high return with high salary opportunities and lesser competition. Definitely a win-win investment for you to jumpstart your journey in Canada. Khosh Amadid. Mabuhay! Welcome to the College of New Caledonia. College of New Caledonia, you are welcome. Bienvenidos al Colegio de Nueva Caledonia. Chào mừng bạn đến với College of New Caledonia. Dosto ab sabi ka College of New Caledonia mein swagat hai. Boy, today we will meet at College of New Caledonia. Yo kaso, College of New Caledonia ye. Bienvenido College of New Caledonia. 欢迎来到新哥尼多尼亚学院。Welcome to the College of New Caledonia. All right, so thank you very much uh, once again. Um, if you're watching or listening to this, I look forward to hearing from you. Um, again, if you are a student, please tr do try to do your best to work with our accredited partners. It's much easier. It manages your risk and improves your chances of studying in Canada. And if you are a partner agent, I appreciate you working with us and helping us out grow the number of Filipinos in Prince George. I appreciate you and hopefully I can see you again very, very soon. Once again, thank you very much, guys. And this is Angelo, again, the country manager for College of New Caledonia in the Philippines. Bye-bye.